So hello and welcome back. So in this video we will talk about um, essentially the number of numbers that you can make using a given number of digits. Meaning that essentially let's say that for example I give you a, a couple of digits for example a 7, 8 and 3 and 5 right. I give you these four digits and I ask you to essentially make uh, of course using the four digits make four digit numbers given some condition for example in such a way that the numbers cannot be repeated essentially there is there is there is going to be no repetition of course meaning that um, I mean, there is, there is, there, you could, of course, consider different types of cases. For example, let's say that I say that, I say that, for example, you're not supposed to repeat anything, meaning no repetitions. No repetitions. No repetitions. No repetitions, what that means is that, for example, you you want to make four-digit numbers. And in the case of these four-digit numbers, you have four digits that, that you can use in different, essentially in different manners. Meaning the seven, you can place it here, or you can place it here, or you can place it here, or you can place it here, right? And then depending on that, you have to move the other digits around in order to... Uh, make different all the possible different numbers right but then if you use if you happen to use for example if you use the seven over here then you're not supposed to then you're not supposed to use it anymore meaning the seven you use it only once and that's and that's essentially all about that meaning you're not supposed to repeat the the digits in another in another essentially case you could say that repetitions repetitions would be allowed for example meaning that for example the the um the seven that that you use here let's say that you use the seven here right then again um then again you have you have the essentially you in this place value that you that that, that that you have here in this place value you can use the seven you can use eight you can use three or you can use five right and then again over here you can use all the four digits then again over here you can use all the four digits and all the four digits but in this case what happens is that if you use the if you use essentially the seven over here then for the for for essentially for the second or essentially for the next digit you can use either eight or three or five and suppose that for example you decide to use eight over here then for this digit over here you can use either three or five let's say that you have the you use the five over here then over here, the only thing that remains is is essentially a theory, right? So that's essentially the the different cases. Now, this essentially this 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 type of situation is simple if you want if you essentially if you use for example just a couple of digits you can you can simply decide for example you have a one and a two. And you want to make two digit numbers right so uh, when in the case of no repetition you can use a one and a two and a two and a one right so there is only two numbers possible with one and two either a 12 or a 21 there is no other possibility but then if you but then essentially if you if you were allowed to repeat the number the the, the, the digits then you could use one one or essentially two two or one two or two one then you can see that you can already make essentially four numbers right so in this case two numbers and in this case four numbers so if you have just a couple of digits 
just essentially you can you can simply consider the different cases and then there is no need to calculate but when you have when you when the number of digits is increased of course it's not i mean i mean it it, it might take you days to 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 essentially to come up with all the possible essentially all the possible different numbers that you can that you can make using these four digits and then you have to also count them so it's not going to be um, I mean humanly it's not possible to do so so you need to essentially you need to find a way to at least calculate the possible number of the the possible number of numbers that you can make with these given number of digits and then use it in some sort of calculation, use it for some, some purpose, right? Now, in order to calculate such cases, there is something called the fundamental principle of counting. That is called the fundamental, the fundamental principle principle of counting and the fundamental principle of counting is of course is a very useful principle in mathematics using this principle you can do a whole bunch of things in in mathematics you can use it almost everywhere the fundamental principle of counting is a, is, a, is a simple thing so so essentially what it is is that it it deals with it deals with situations like for example you have you have essentially two shirts and and two pants for example two pairs of pants now on different days you can mix and match meaning that this shirt you can wear it with either of the pants or this shirt you can you can you can wear it with either of the pants and so you want to know essentially how many pairs of pants and shirts together meaning in, on any day you, when you want to go out you have to have you have to have it you have you have to have you have to wear a shirt and a pair of pants none of them is supposed to be missing otherwise you cannot go out right so there there has to be one shirt and one pair of pants on each day for example right so now you want to know um, essentially how many days you can go out with without essentially repeating the, the previous day's combination. Meaning that, for example, today I go out with the red shirt and the black pants. The next day I go out with the red shirt and the gray pants. And then the next day I go out with the blue, sh blue shirt and the black pants. The next, the, the next day I'm going to, the following day, I'm going to go out with the blue shirt and the gray pants. And so that means that essentially there is, a, there is, there is essentially four days on which, and, and essentially there are four days on which I don't have to repeat anything. Every day I can be, I can wear essentially different clothes or essentially different combina combination of clothes. And the case would be essentially something like this. So, for example, the blue pants and the gray pants. So, the pants are, as we mentioned here, there is, there is the, there, excuse me, the black and gray. So, there is the black pants and the gray pants. The black pants can be worn with essentially the red shirt and the blue shirt. The gray pants can be worn with the red shirt or the blue shirt, right? So this combination then over here, then this combination over here would be the, the blue pants and red shirt. This combination over here would be the blue pants and uh, the blue pants and the, and the blue shirt. This combination over here would be the gray pants and the red shirt this combination over here would be the gray pants and the uh, the the blue shirt right so you have these these essentially one 
two, three, and four different cases. You get essentially, <coughs> you get essentially these four different cases, right? So that's uh, meaning that meaning that what what essentially what it means. What it means essentially, if you want to, if you, if you were to make it a little bit formal, what that means is that if there is m ways of doing one thing, and if there is and if there is n ways of doing another thing, meaning if there is m ways of some, for example, some event A, m ways of some event A to happen, and there is n ways of some event B to happen, then there is going to be m times n ways for essentially for events A and B to happen to happen together right there is there is m ways for event a to happen meaning there is two ways that you can choose a shared there is n ways that event b can happen meaning there is two ways to choose a pants then in then essentially events a and b happening meaning wearing a, a pair of pants and a shirt can happen in m times n ways meaning two times two ways, meaning four ways, and the four ways we essentially we listed here, right? So this is, this is essentially the fundamental principle of counting in mathematics. Now, the same principle, you can use it in order to, um, in order to decide essentially how many numbers you can make using a given number of digits. So let's say that, let's say that basically I give you basically these four digits, seven, eight, three, and five, and I ask you to make as many uh, four digit numbers as possible, but no repetitions, right? There are no repetitions here. So how do you, how do you, how do you calculate it? Since you cannot repeat anything, so you have four place values. Now suppose that you have, you have four digits basically. And you're not supposed to repeat anything. So suppose that you choose any one digit, any one of these digits over here, right? So that means that choosing any one digit over here, that means that there is four ways that you can choose a digit for, for this place value, right? There are, and then once you have chosen that digit, then there is no way to choose that digit again, because we have mentioned, we have, as we have said that no repetition is allowed, right? Which means that now you have only three digits out of which you can choose for the next place value. So there is three ways of choosing a digit over here. Using the same logic, there is two digits left for this place value, and then there is only one digit left for this place value. So this event can happen in four ways. This event can happen in three ways. This event can happen in two ways. This event can happen in only one way. And so then all of these events happening together would be essentially, let's call this M, N, O, P. This is events, the, the M ways, N ways, O ways, and P ways. Then all of them happening together, how many, how many ways would, would essentially based on what we said here, the number of ways that, that basically that those events can happen together is essentially M times N times O times P ways, right? which means four times three times two times one, which is the same thing as 12 times two, which is equal to 24 ways, which means that essentially in this case, you can make only 24 different numbers, right? Assuming that you don't repeat anything. But then if repetition is allowed, if repetition is allowed, there are four ways of choosing a digit for this place value. But since you can repeat, essentially since there is no limit on repetition, 
or essentially repetition is allowed, then again you can choose another four digit here. You can choose another four digit here. You can choose another four digit here. And so, meaning essentially this event can happen in four ways. This, this event can happen in four ways. This event can happen and so on and so forth. And so all of the, the events happening together would be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, which is the same thing as 4 raised to the power 4, which is, I think, 500, 4 raised to the power 4, which is 256, which is 256. So in this case, you can make 256 different numbers. In this case, you can make only 24 numbers, 24 different numbers, basically, right? So that's essentially how you can quickly um, calculate how many numbers you can make given a certain number of digits. Thank you.